Cremo, the company behind Cremo Cream Shave Cream, is having a road trip across the southern U.S. to not only show the company's new personal care products, but also promote a conversation about men's mental health. I've had some contact with Cremo in the past, so when the road trip stopped in Houston last week, they invited me to visit. They converted a vintage 1948 Spartan Manor travel trailer into a rolling barber shop, and they're also giving away Cremo products, too. I spoke with Edward and Faith, the two friends that are sharing this adventure together, and I also got a haircut from a local barber. Okay, Magic 59 here, and I'm with Edward and Faith of the Cremo team uh, road trip. And Edward, if you wouldn't mind, just start out with giving me a little bit of your background. Uh, well, I was born and raised in Chicago, uh, but however, today we are in Katy, Texas, which I actually spent the last year of my life in Dallas, Texas. Um, something a little bit about me, I collect sunsets from all over the world. I know it's a little nerdy, but I like even print them out, rank them, all kinds of stuff. And to me, Texas is my absolute favorite sunset in the world. Uh, Great. She's Faith? way more interesting. Yeah, Faith, tell me tell me a little <laughs> bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Faith Brannon. I'm from New Orleans. I went to school at TCU in Fort Worth. Really good at Connect Four. She is. She's <laughs> unbelievable at Connect Four. It was a miracle I beat her earlier, honestly. Yeah. And they got a giant Connect Four in there. I'm waiting for her to be super lit. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm actually his roommate. I live with him in LA, so that's how we actually met. We met She's been putting up with me for over a year, so yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> but hey, it works. And what brings you to the Cremo road trip? How did that get started? Um, the Cremo road trip, for me at least, started because um, I had done part of their uh, Cremo demo. And it was honestly such high quality product that I decided to drive two and a half hours out to meet the owner and basically beg him to keep on working with the company. I've, I've worked for a lot of hair companies actually in the past. And I really like what this brand is all about. They want to give the absolute highest quality, but they want to make sure like every person that's at this bar at, like can actually use it and afford it and can use it every day and can use it every time they run out of product and you can also go to them for your fragrance and not spend as much as you're spending on some of the other neighborhoods um, so the way i ended up on this road trip was because it's a company i actually believe in to be honest great and faith what about you what brings you here so i actually when he started working with the company he let me borrow some of his shaving cream and I tried it on my legs and it was a game changer. So I automatically fell in love with the product. I wouldn't use anything else because I had tried so many things before that. And this was the only product that worked for me. She literally had a box of stuff. <laughs> yeah, she I had a whole had box, a whole giant box. box. And I could throw it all away because this is all I needed. <laughs> and, yeah, and I right don't even need lotion because it moisturizes your legs. So I took care of that. Um, and then they wanted a best friend on the trip and we and Edward are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she puts up with me, but hey, it works. We're having fun. Yeah, so. And tell us a little about about the trip itself. Where does it, where does it start? Where does it end? And what have you been by so far? Well, it started in Laguna Beach. Um, it's gonna end at the oldest barbershop in America. So if you actually want to see all the stops, you can go to uh, www.cremoroadtrip.com. However, I will say because because Cremo is nice enough to let this be like a real road trip, it's kind of like oh squirrel, let's Sometimes go there. We're really yeah. spontaneous. Yeah, we're <laughs> extremely spontaneous. So where it'll actually end up, we have no idea. But you can find out on the website as we go. You just gotta check back pretty often yeah. because we tend to change our minds pretty quick. Great. Okay. And before we end, I have to ask you, Edward, to retell your story about your father and Cremo Cream Shave yeah. Cream. Uh, so this is an absolute true story. It actually happened yesterday. Um, so my dad, my entire life, um, I've literally never seen the man own a razor or even think about shaving like that. He's always used an electric razor. Um, so because I booked this campaign, he figured he would humor me and go out. He bought the Cremo Shave Cream um, and then he bought a disposable razor, like a really bad one. Um, and just because he thinks he's funny when he does this, he decided he was going to shave against the grain. Um, really did everything he could to try and make it not work. And he sent me this huge text that he had no idea I was going to post this, but I posted it on my Instagram if you want to go see it. Um, he started raving about it. He has no irritation, no ingrowns, no redness, nothing. And honestly, probably the best part about it is my mom is going crazy because she's always wanted him to be clean shaven and he could never do it. Honestly, he really couldn't. And I had the same problem, but it's my job to look good. So like, don't take my word for it. My dad's a funeral director. He's owned this funeral home since 1920. Well, our family has owned the funeral home since 1923. He has no 
reason to be going to that extreme to look good. And honestly, with Cremo, he doesn't have to. He walked over to the CVS that's across the street, went and bought the shaving cream, bought this really bad disposable razor, and got the same results that fashion models are getting. That's terrific. But well, good luck on the on the road trip, and we'll be uh, seeing you again soon. Yeah. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hey, Magic 59 here at the Cremo Cream uh, Road Show in, in Houston, and I'm getting myself a barber uh, haircut with Mitch from, what's the name? Exclusive Cuts. Uh, exclusive Cuts here in Katy, Texas. And I'm here in the Cremo, Cremo Cream trailer, which I will show uh, all sorts of different uh, views of here in a moment. But meanwhile, Mitch is going to give you a good haircut. Mitch, how long you been cutting hair? Oh, I've been cutting hair all my life. I see the series about four years ago. Very little training. <laughs> and where is your uh, barber shop here in Katy? Uh, we're at the Mason Road, 176 Appleway. 176 Appleway. And that's only just a few, a, a couple miles from here, right? So eight minutes away. We're here at the, the No Label Brewery and Brew Pub, where Cremo Cream has their uh, Houston stock for today. How much you like your hair? How much that? Uh, sides off the gear, back to collar length, knock off a half inch or so on the top. Whatever. Five inches here. Good looks. Normally I don't. Serious. This year's. Cheers. Yeah, cheers is fun. And Mitch, you, you told me earlier you also do shaves at your shop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The correct way. The correct way, that's right. Do you get a lot of shave uh, customers or yes, mostly uh, mostly haircuts? We get a lot of shave customers as well. Haircuts is our main bread and butter, but. I understand completely. In your experience, what do most people not know that they should know about their hair? About their hair? Yeah. Just hair or just hair here? Uh, both. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't, all the form of product that they like to use, uh, they try to look at all the day. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as saying, a lot of people don't know how to say it. Most people say, I'm against the grain, but you should say, with the grain. Right. Cross the grain and get a closer shape. Right. How can a client tell a barber, how can, how can they communicate the, the correct way to describe what kind of haircut they want to get, and whether it's really good, a good haircut for them? The technology nowadays, you know, you can always Google a picture that you might like. Might be your favorite, might be your favorite athlete. Uh, that's football player, football player. Uh, you frame the picture to them. Like pretty much the men can't cut. Get you the head style to them. Ain't waiting too long. But isn't it true that, that some people's hairs hair just don't lend themselves to certain certain style types. Exactly. That's true also. You have to know what fits your style and what fits you. And what fits your line of business is right. Oh. Yeah, I suppose like a longer a longer cut may not do well in a business situation for That's example. Right. Yeah. How many uh, barbers do you have working at the shop? Uh, four barbers at the shop. This is a Really? Wow. So four chairs as well, or do you stagger? Four chairs. Four chairs. Wow. Would you have any advice for somebody watching who might want to become a barber? That's what I was going to advise. If you do what you love to do, it's not a job. Uh, being a barber means that it's a hobby. I love doing it. So I wake up every day excited to go to work. There you go. Therefore, for the tipping, 
It's all about reaching the client, making the clients happy. Not me doing what I love to do. I'm always able to reach their goals. I think I've waited too long for Mike to care about having it. It's okay. Never too long to fly out there. As long as you get one. Yeah. Now, does your barbershop have any uh, presence on like Facebook or a website? Or? No, you can find us at Exclusive Cut, Exclusive with an X, hyphen, C L U S B E, on our Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. Uh, you can follow me, myself personally, by this the barber, M I D A S T H A. Barbara, and I'll put those links in the uh, video of this, uh, in the comments of this video for those watching. Mitch, what do you recommend for guys like me that have a cowlick in the back like that? Uh, to remove the cowlick, uh, uh, or at least deal with it. To deal with it, you always I use thinning shears. Thinning shears. Oh, okay. The blade, the blade, the blade down. Oh. It makes it very soft. Uh huh. So it's easy to lay down. Oh. Everybody got different techniques. It's just it's what works for me. Mm -hmm. I can always ask you how you like your haircut, but really doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter what you like. It's all well, about what your wife likes. That's true too. <laughs> and what my hair what my hair can work with. Too. Right. Nice cut. Did you go home the moment? And mama ain't happy? Ain't nobody happy. No happy. Yeah. Heard that. Uh, part, yeah. Left part on the left, like right, right where you are. I'm figuring it's more natural. Yes. To your hair, so I just want to So don't get us confused with any exclusive. We are exclusive barber salon. So we have stylists, barbers. For any hair service that you may be, that you may be in need. Oh, okay. So you're not just a barber. You're not just a barber shop. shop. Oh, okay. You are a barber salon. Oh. So people could get curled and colors and curls, colors, curls, twists, dyes. Stitches. Full service. Full service. Air paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A little waiting room in it. Oh, it's good. It's good? It's good. I, yeah, I like it. You like it? I'm going to hold off. I'll just melt right on it. Good. So, I'm going to get this. Actually, it's kind of nice and cool, so. <laughs> Works for me. Again, this is Mitch, yes, sir. and I'll put all the, uh, all the links in the description of this video. I had a terrific time at the event, and Cremo even gifted me a really nice cowboy hat. Be sure to check the Cremo Road Trip webpage for updates, and if they're near you, take a look.